Alright ladies and gentlemen. We're on walkie talkies. Ian and uh, CJ are behind me. Truck. We got a four hour drive. It's gonna be pretty awesome. CJ's got a buck tag and a doe tag. I got two I got a two doe tag. Nebraska is pretty awesome, let me tell you. Non-resident, he's flashing his bright side, I mean, think he's funny. Non-resident uh, tag is $82 for two does. CJ's tag is 216 because he's got the buck tag. He can, get, he can kill two does or he can kill a buck and a doe, so that's pretty awesome. Um, my season goes to about January, it's a season choice. So if I don't feel my tag during the first rifle season, I can go out during the second rifle season, or I can go out during archery, which would be pretty awesome because I'm more of an archery hunter, but uh, this will be my first um, rifle hunt ever. And I get to do it with some high school buddies that pretty awesome. We've done a few hunts together. Uh, we've done some hog hunt in uh, Texas. So hopefully we can fill some tags this weekend and hopefully next weekend. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun ride. You guys, we just made it in McCook. Colorado is Texas is the same. We're in Walmart. CJ's getting food. I'm that guy. <laughs> He's that guy. <laughs> so uh, long drive. Hopefully we can kill some deer tomorrow morning. There's a beach. It's like 11 o'clock. Gotta get up at like five. So five. we'll see how it goes. Doors open. It's be our this is gonna be our uh, home for the next two days. <laughs> Nobody in there. It's a single bed. <laughs> and the door won't open. Man. Welcome to McCook, Nebraska. Parking lot's full of hunters. And the door won't open. Nice. What's going on there, CJ? It's a shit door. One bed, Woo! three guys. Hell yeah. Got okay. a cot. Hide a bed. One bed. Got hide a bed. Hide a bed. Ian brought his cot. Try to put the hide a bed in the cot. Nice little fast screen TV. Yeah, We're not going to be in here. Why not? Little fridge. Might as well of course, we got cookies. That is not a queen size bed. No, they're arguing true. about bed sizes. So. Got to some CRP land. We're gonna have some nice drainages. We have Ian walk through the middle with his bow, and uh, CJ and I are gonna be on the ridges with the rifles 270 and 30 out 6. 280. 280. But uh, it's 
spraying down with some no scent right now. Nice little drainages over there. So we're gonna go have Ian walk to the middle with his bow. Hopefully we can flush something out. But it's a nice area, so let's see how it goes. Ian bumped up a fox for us, so that was pretty cool. CJ said that, you kind of get the idea, Ian was all in the middle of this, all thick cottonwoods. CJ was on that fence line, walking this ridge, and I'm on him over here, walking here. And CJ was sign language and something. So we'll get back to the truck and see if he saw something. It looked like he said he saw a buck, but I don't know if he did. Let's see what he said. Day two. Hotel's a mess. <laughs> That's Casey. I don't wanna. <laughs> There's VMAC. I'm pretty excited. I can't tell. Wants to be. Jamming out to George Strait, baby. We're gonna shoot something today. It's gonna be a good day. Be a good day. Yep. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. Most definitely. Good drop. Red rock for the morning hunt. Let's go. Pretty cold. Yeah, pretty chilly out there. Good? Yep. Let me eat them. Wait, just leave him. Leave him. Dude, he's like an eight point. We did it, boys! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. CJ, that's your first book, baby! Patience, pays off. Patience baby! Pays off. <sighs> How about that, boys? We got out here late. How you feel? There's a guy that got oh, to our spot. Oh. We regrouped. A buck came running through this thick stuff. Ian spotted it, yelled at me, CJ's got the buck tag, and he smoked it, baby. Smoked it. We're gonna let him, we're gonna sit here for about 10 minutes. Yeah, I saw him. The second shot, CJ, I, th I think, CJ took two shots. I think the first shot he did hit him. 
I stopped him with, I stopped him. He stopped when you shot him. I was like, Ur. and I was using these a little bit. And CJ smoked him. He just went, he curled up and went down. Yes! Is he four by four? Nothing better than doing this with your high school buddies from high school. Known him since I was second grade. Oh, we met him in high school. Yep. Best friends hunting together. Skinning CJ's deer, his buck, he just shot. Two does decided to come on through. Ian said he heard them, I didn't hear any of them. They all got up looking for him. They ran off, took a shot, missed. Went after him a little bit. Bumped him again. And walked up 20 yards up. They split. And then they stopped. Ian was stopping him with some grunt calls. Leaned up against a tree and smoked one. Smoked a doe. My first ever doe, first ever rifle hunt ever. I'm doing it with three, two of my best friends. Just downed a buck. 30 minutes later, we downed a doe. So we got some meat coming in, baby. Put in the work, get rewarded. Packing out our uh, two two deer, a doe and a, a buck. See this nice buck. So hopefully you like the video. Stay tuned for more. Come back, check us out next year. Have more entertainment for you. Yep. Well, that's it. Hopefully you guys uh, liked that video. So like and uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, three good high school buddies hunting together, having a good old time. We drew up this plan last minute. So we were looking on the maps and we had to find a hotel and some uh, public hunting grounds out here in Nebraska. And there's no better feeling than success. I mean, I've been hunting since I was 12 and there's no other better feeling, especially if you can do it with some of your best friends. I mean, whether we didn't kill this morning or not, it's always fun. This is always fun doing this with your friends. But to, for it to finally be successful, you can finally put meat in the freezer, there's no better feeling. And uh, I'm happy. This was a great, great weekend, and uh, there's plenty more to come, so stay with us.